All right, welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Now, before the break, we talked about how we can, you know, just be more safe as a driver when it comes to our motor vehicles. But now, let's go ahead and talk about the same, but when regarding our motorcycles. See, nearly one million motorcycle riders will travel to the world's largest rallies and, of course, cycle on regular roads daily. But one team of analysts found that motorcycle fatalities have unfortunately increased by 16% here in the state of Texas since 2019. So so we spoke with one representative who broke down the full report so that we can take this information and learn from it, you know, to keep ourselves and others safe on the roads. So what we did is we looked at motorcycle deaths nationwide going back to 2018. And we found that motorcycle deaths have increased 11% in just the last year. Nearly 6,000 people died while riding motorcycles in 2020. And what's really troubling about it is that even though these stats, as always, are a little bit lagging indicators because it takes time to put them together, we have already seen the numbers for 2021 are indicating that motorcycle deaths might be up another 10%. So what we are seeing nationwide is a dramatic rise in motorcycle fatalities, especially in Texas, where we have seen the number of motorcycle fatalities jump 16% since 2019. Nearly 500 people died while riding motorcycles in Texas in 2020. So, you know, one of the things that we have noticed, and this applies both to motorcycles and all forms of vehicle fatalities, is that fatalities started to really rise right as the pandemic began. And the overall pattern is that we saw younger drivers going too fast on uncongested roadways because their roadways weren't as busy with people driving, and so people were using that opportunity to really travel too quickly. And what has happened though, is that even though pandemic traffic has really picked back up and we're almost right back to normal, people have retained those driving habits that they developed on those uncongested roadways. And that's why we're still seeing fatalities continue to increase. Motorcycle fatalities specifically are at the highest level they have ever been. And I think what we need to do is really kind of go back to those driving habits that we had before. You can find the full report by visiting the link on your screen. And don't forget to wear your helmet if you do find yourself on a motorcycle. All right, well now according to MarkellInsurance.com, there are indeed a few things that we can keep in mind when it comes to specific motorcycle safety measures that we can take. And we're about to share some of those things with you right now. So first up, the site recommends that we look into, you know, just taking an official safety course if interested in riding a motorcycle on the roads. That way we can learn all about the rules that could keep us protected and so we can learn how to recognize unpredictable riding situations as well as how to react while on the bike. It also recommends that we be cognizant of and vigilant when it comes to weather conditions. So, you know, any situation in which there's snow, ice, or rain can unfortunately have a negative impact on rider safety. Meaning we need to watch our traction and know about inclement weather ahead of time by watching local forecasts. Now, the site also recommends that we, of course, always wear our motorcycle gear, like we mentioned earlier, uh, when riding the 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 riding when hitting the road with your bike. You know, everything from a helmet, goggles, leather jacket, and pants. You know, ankle boots are a good one too, and non-slip gloves. Those can really help to see uh, to keep you safe. And it even says to inspect your motorcycle before each and every single ride. It's really important to do this because this way you can catch any defects, you know, with headlights, tail lights, turn signals, fuel, brakes, and so much more. And it'll give you a chance to fix the problem before it becomes a problem. Lastly, we've got to remember to obey all traffic laws, just as if we were in our own cars. And that includes rules for signals, speed limits, and everything else. The site even says that according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, 
safety, back in 2019, it was recorded that about 48% of motorcycle fatalities were caused by excessive speed. So, just riding within the speed limit can definitely have a drastic effect on safety. Now, the site also outlines that we should try to be as visible as possible whenever we're on a, a motorcycle. So, you know, that means that we should avoid other drivers' blind spots and make an effort to wear reflective or bright colored clothing. Really, just anything you can do can help. So, with these newfound tips, we hope that you're able to better navigate through the roads on your motorcycle in a safe way, again, for you and everyone else around you. After all, if everyone's safe, then you can enjoy all that life has to offer. Things like family time, passionate hobbies, and celebrations. And speaking of celebrations, we've got a very special invitation for you to take part in, and it's also going to be a huge celebration. Okay, we're talking about the second annual gala of Valley Initiative for Development and Advancement. Now, their team works year-round to help uh, residents of the Rio Grande Valley in the educational sector, and this nonprofit has a team dedicated and passionate about making a real difference. You know, this special event is taking place on Thursday, September the 29th, and sponsorships are available as an opportunity to lend support for the cause. So, go ahead and take a look. It is often said education builds the best workforce, but it is community support and partnerships that create accessibility and equal opportunities for education success. Join VDA for our second annual gala, September 29th for a golden affair. Become a change maker and invest in a proven model. For tickets and sponsorships, visit vidacareers.org slash gala. Again, this second annual gala golden affair is all happening Thursday, September the 29th, and you can get more information on this nonprofit's educational efforts to benefit students in the Rio Grande Valley by visiting vidacareers.org slash gala. All right, that's all we've got for now. Thanks again so much for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you next time on Valley Puerto Vida. Until then.